Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> welcome back. Ooh, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We'll see what the message is going to be like. Okay. Sleep and rest. Let your body have the peace it deserves without feeling guilty. Okay, so maybe some of you guys, you need to get some rest. You need to catch up on some sleep. Okay, stop feeling guilty. Maybe you're someone that's constantly on the go, constantly, um, you know, just doing a lot in your life. You don't get a lot of rest. You don't get a lot of sleep. You don't get a lot of downtime. But it's okay to get some type of rest so you can be refreshed. Okay? awakening okay a realization shift or discovery okay so some of you guys are becoming awakening here okay you could be um someone that's very spiritual getting in turn with your higher self your higher self your higher ups the universe here like you're becoming very very awakening to a lot of things in your life okay and maybe that's the reason you may need to get more rest, get more sleep, so you could be, you know, more refreshed, okay? Um, so your mind can start opening up. That third eye needs to be clear, okay? So you can start saying things very clearly when it comes to a lot of certain situations in your life here, okay? <clears throat> Like that, there, there could be some type of shift. Something is changing in your life. Le love your journey. Be open to it, to the idea of loving you. Okay. <clears throat> so, like I say, a lot of you guys are on some type of journey here. Okay, it could be a spiritual journey. Figuring yourself out. Figuring out who you are. Okay, loving on yourself, coming up with new ideas, like there's a journey that you are on. Okay, so it, it is it is safe. It is safe to get some type of rest so you can start focusing on yourself and focusing on this new journey. There's something about something that you are discovering in your life. The more you become awakening and get in tune with your with your spirituality, there's going to be a lot of things that you are, are going to discover. You could be doing some type of research, gaining some type of knowledge or wisdom on some things here. Okay, some type of journey that you are on. Okay. Anything else on the spirit? Mm. Yeah, meditate. Quiet the mind and let your soul speak. A lot of you guys could be getting into meditation or doing a lot of meditating, okay? Um, so your third eye can open, so some things could be come very clear to you. There's some type of journey that someone is on here. <clears throat> Let's see. Give me more on this message, Spirit. <clears throat> Give me more. Spirit is saying, no, not this deck. Not this deck. Not this deck. Okay. For some of you guys, you might need to cleanse, cleanse your energy, cleanse your space. Give me more on this spirit. <clears throat> spiritual warrior. A lot of you guys could be a spiritual warrior, okay? Or you can have a spiritual warrior that's um protecting you, that's fighting for you in a spiritual realm. 
okay? This is someone that has your back, <laughs> that's going to fight your battles, okay? You could come from a bloodline of spiritual warriors here. And look at this, thief. Mm. I feel like as a lot of you guys become awakening, okay, as your third eye starts to open, what they say, new levels, new devils, okay? Once your light starts to shine, you always want to have someone in the background. That's trying to take from you, steal from you, whether that be your light or your energy here. Okay, so please continue to use your intuition because you have uh, energy here that's trying to deceive you or want to uh, deceive you. Okay, and you have poverty here. Okay, so whoever this thief is could be in poverty. <laughs> they could be shooken, okay? They could be uh scrambling for scraps here, okay? Whoever this energy is could, could want what you have, okay? Because a lot of you go guys, I say gods, so I'm going to keep that. A lot of you gods are becoming more focused on your spirituality and your awakening process here. Someone could be here trying to steal your light, steal your shine because they are in lack, because they are in some type of negative energy, negative mindset. They see how spiritual you are. They see this journey that you are on, okay? Anything else on this spirit? But you have your spiritual warrior here that's working with you and for you, okay? Ancestor, you're in here, okay? You have a lot of protection up here. Your ancestors is watching you, okay? They are protecting you. So you good regardless. So whoever that's in this poverty energy, this negative space, you're not going to be touch spurs so that's the truth they can't touch you the more you elevate yourself on a higher realm they can't touch you they could try all they want but you can't be touched you got warriors here you got your ancestors here Ooh, that's protecting you okay you have the emperor here okay you could be an emperor, okay? Or there's an emperor right here that's in poverty that's trying to take or deceive you. Take it how you want to take it, okay? Anything else here, okay? This could be an emperor that's full of their self, okay? This is someone um, of some type of leadership, someone that could be a father or a father figure. This could be somebody that's older, don't have to be, okay? Oh, yeah, innocence, pure heart. They see you as someone that is innocent. They see you as someone that has a pure heart. So they want to take from you and deceive you, okay? Because they can't stand your light. They can't stand that you are becoming more and more awakening. They can't stand that you are out here using your intuition. You could be someone that, that is very intuitive. For a lot of you guys, you see this snake. You see this thief. Okay? For some of you guys, you may already know who they are, who this thief is. Okay? They don't like this journey, this spiritual journey that you are on. It's like they almost feel some type of way that they had to struggle. And you're not. Okay? 
you are already in turn with your higher ups and they're going to have your back regardless. And they can't stand the fact how protected that you really are. Look, gift from God. A lot of you guys, you are a gift from God. Okay? And this is what this emperor, this is how they see things. This is how they see you. Okay, you could really actually receive some type of gift from the most high. Okay, they could be looking at you like how come the collective keep receiving these uh, blessings and abundance and um, this could be someone that hates on your spirituality. Okay, it could be something about your light that irritates their demons because they are out here struggling because they are out here in poverty. So, therefore, they want to take from you someone that's innocent, someone that has a pure heart, okay? Warring angels. I'm telling you, you, for a lot of you guys, you come from a very, very, very special and strong bloodline of warriors. I'm telling you. Your, your, your warriors, your, your, your spiritual team, the divine, your angels, your ancestors do not play about you at all. They don't, okay? And that's why this emperor could be upset about that. They could be pissed off about that, okay? Because it's something that you have that they don't have, okay? Okay? I am keep hearing four of themselves. This emperor could feel like you are too full of yourself because of who you are, because you are becoming awakening, because you see the bullshit a mile away. Yeah, look, financial karma. Yeah, this emperor is going through some type of financial karma. They lose their money left and right. Okay, they can't seem to get it together. They can't seem to get it right. They are in some type of poverty, and that's why they made with you, okay? This emperor is fighting their own demons. They are. They are in some type of lack and made with you, upset with you, trying to deceive you, trying to take from you, steal from you, lie to you because of some type of lack that they are in. Mm hmm. This emperor is suffering. It's given like a pretender. It's given someone is um like a false person. This emperor, they put on some type of facade for others, but you know exactly who they are and they can't stand it. Okay, you know that this emperor is full of shit. You know this emperor really don't have it. But this could be someone that goes out in the community, whether this be a friend group, relatives, or whoever, and, and pretend to be something that they are not. This person is suffering. Mm-hmm. They are going through a major, major financial loss in their life. Anything else on this spirit? Old lover returns. So for some of you guys, whoever this emperor may be, could be one of your old lovers, a ex of yours, that's hating on you. Okay, that's jealous of you. Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah. Okay, but a lot of you guys are saying a lot of things very clearly because you are becoming awakening. You already know what this so-called emperor is. This is someone that pretends to be a emperor. Okay, but they really in that page energy is what is given. Someone that's very childish. Mm hmm. Someone that's very immature. It's like this energy walks around as if they are in this um self-entitlement energy. 
but they really not. They really in this poverty, immature energy, childlike energy. But you see them. You see them from afar. Like you see them for exactly who they are. See, other people may not know who the hell this masculine energy may be. Okay? Because they are out here pretending with their broke asses is what I'm getting. Okay? And now I'm about to pour some tarot and see what's really good. Because a lot of you guys are the star. You already did a lot of healing. Now you are pouring into your own cup. Giving yourself that self-love is all about you now, baby. It's all about you. So let's see. Give me some more on this message, Spirit. It's like this person could have tried multiple ways, multiple tactics to get to you, to destroy you, to to take from you and it's not working <laughs> it's not working at all like you guys are out here being protected here yeah queen of wands energy here okay yeah give me more on this queen of wands spirit you could be in this queen of wands energy but give me mm, ain't too many cards give me more on this queen of wands You got the uh, nine of swords. Okay. You, if you are in this queen of wands energy, you could be someone that's stressing out. Okay. There could be some type of, um, I don't know, fear, anxiety over a situation. Okay. I'm just saying, or this emperor could be in this feminine energy. Okay. This so-called emperor. Could be in this Queen of Wands energy. Someone that's in a lot of fear. Having some type of anxiety. Having sleepless nights. Okay. I'm just saying. You know. Someone that um constantly overthink things. Having nightmares. Okay. Being haunted by their wicked ways. Or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Two of Swords. A lot of confusion. Someone that's stuck. In their own ways. Someone that could be causing their own delays and blockages in their life. Okay. Because they keep trying to um, come your way when you did not ask for them. Is what I'm getting. I'm just saying. Take it how you want to take it. Give me more on this spirit. Okay. This could be a, a, a fire sign. Okay. Because I ain't going to lie, a lot of these masculines definitely be acting like little out here, okay? So, whoever this masculine energy is could definitely be in this feminine energy. I'm just saying. Give me more on this, spirit. Yeah, six of swords. A lot of you guys could be moving away from things that no longer serve you, okay? You're moving on. You're moving forward. You got your back turned. You say enough is enough. You ain't got time for none of this shenanigans, okay? Yeah, with the three of wands. A lot of you guys are going in a totally different direction. You could be traveling here, okay? Mm, look at this. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This, this energy is definitely... Um, going through some type of delays, major losses in their life here. Mm-hmm. Yep. They are. Yeah. And that's why this person is crying. A lot of sadness. A lot of overwhelming. Feeling trapped up in their head. Constantly overthinking things. Okay? But my thing is this. This. If you going through some type of financial karma... Why are you still focusing on taking from somebody else when you got your own shit you have to deal with? Give me something else on this spirit. Yeah, the hangman. Feeling very stuck. Mm-hmm. This is a stuck energy. Wow. Like this person... 
could be doing a lot of introspection on things, especially when it comes to their life. Okay, their finances, their struggle, whatever the case may be. Look, the Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. They want to take some type of action, but they 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 stuck. There's like a uh, uh, um what you call it? Some type of um derailed. There's something about being derailed. Because there's a lot of blockages and delays that's going on in this masculine life here. Okay. This person is definitely coming off as very unbalanced and unstable energy here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whoever this energy is, I'm telling you, this energy could be someone that could be like very popular or well known in their community. There could be a lot of people that look up to this masculine. I'm telling you, this person is someone that puts on some type of facade. They fake as fuck and they phony as fuck. Okay? I'm just saying. And for some of you guys, this is someone from your past. This is a old lover. Okay? <clears throat> but you already see through the facade. You see through their bullshit. Anything else on this spirit? Yeah. Eight of Cups. Walking away. Right under the Six of Swords. Okay. A lot of you guys, if this is someone from your past or ex-lover, you're walking away from this clown. From this energy. Okay. You ain't got time. This person could have took some type of advantage of you because of your prayer heart. Yeah, page of swords. They could be watching you. Okay, keeping up with you. There could be some type of gossip going on about you walking away from this energy. Spurs Spur said that's the truth. Okay, yes. Double truth, double confirmation. Okay, they, look, can't make it up. The devil. Mm-hmm. This person could be obsessed with you. If you hear social media, they could be they could be watching your social media. They can't seem to let go of you. They can't seem to let go of your energy. This person could be very manipulative. This could be a narcissistic karmic energy. This this old lover of yours. Okay? This person can have multiple addictions, bad habits, whatever the case may be. Yeah. With the three of swords. Mm -hmm. This energy could be in a lot of pain, okay? A lot of heartbreaks here, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Because of some type of third party, okay? That's not going to be for everybody. There could have been some type of third party interference, okay? I'm just saying. Because you do have a queen of wands up here. And I don't know who's in that energy. But like I said, this masculine could be in their feminine energy. This could be their energy. Or this could be a third party. But with the three of swords and the three of cups, it's definitely speaking third party interference. But this person constantly watches you, obsessed with you. Okay? Look at this. The king of pentacles and the emperor came out. Right over top of gift from God. So, for some of you guys, <laughs> this masculine, this could be somebody new that's coming in. Okay? For some of you guys, there could be a divine gift that's coming in for you. A new partnership. Someone that's very stable. Someone that's very balanced. Someone that could um, own their own business. Okay? Someone that really has it here. Look, I can't make it up. Ace of Wands. New beginnings. New cycles. A new start. With the Ace of Wands here. So for some of you guys, there's somebody new that's coming in that, that has their shit together. Okay? Someone that's going to take care of you. 
is what I'm getting. Whoever this um emperor is right here. Okay. Yeah, with the page of cups. Yeah. So there's some type of offer that could be coming in towards you guys. Okay. Anything else on this spirit? Because whoever this emperor is that's trying to pretend to be an emperor is it's like trying to come against you. Okay. Trying to take from you and steal from you. But now you have a real emperor that's coming in. Okay? That's very stable. Okay? Look, I can't make it up. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. This new emperor. Okay? This real one. This is a real one right here. This, this is a false person. A false emperor up here. This new emperor is very stable. Very abundant. Very self-efficient. Very grounded. Okay. This person can own their own business. Their own company. I'm telling you. This one right here. Yeah. They might want to come in. I'm telling you. They want to come in to invest. Look at this. Can't make it up. Seven of pentacles to the sun. To the wheel of fortune. To the star. Okay, to the magician, to the dang one of the world card. This real emperor right here wants to come in to invest with you. They see you as someone that can make you very happy. This could be a very successful partnership. New cycles, new beginnings. Okay, with the star card, to the world card. This, this new person is manifesting some new things. Okay, they are manifesting you into their life. They are manifesting abundance, breakthroughs, okay, is what I'm getting. So whatever you do as you become more awakening and start in your new journey, you got to distinguish the two. You got to distinguish the real from the fake because you're going to come across a lot of false pretenders pretending to be a emperor when they really not. But you do have a real emperor that's coming in. Okay? So make sure you use use your intuition. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm going to pull a couple of more messages and then I'm going to leave it there. Any more on this spirit? Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Maybe for some of you guys, you, you could be going through some type of financial um, factor, but you got an emperor right here that's going through some type of financial karma, okay? So this could be this masculine energy here, okay? They could be facing a lot of um financial difficulties in their life here. <laughs> Yeah, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I'm telling you, this is new emperor. This is new emperor that you may want to explore. This new emperor, the real emperor, is someone that's worth exploring here. Okay, because whoever this false emperor is, is a old lover. And they might want to return to you too. So make sure you use your intuition, honey. Okay, know the difference. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path here. Okay, I'm telling you, I can't make this up, okay? Because this false pretender here, this fake emperor right here, it's, it has something to do with your spirituality. They don't like you because of your spirituality. And for some of you guys, you are so gifted, okay, that you already see the BS from a mile away. Like you, your gifts is so special and so real. 
Whereas though you can tell when somebody is on their best BS and this fake ass emperor knows that. Okay, for some of you guys, you may already know what type of time they are on. And that's why there's some type of, um, it's something about your spirituality, your religion, or whatever the case may be, that could be a big factor. This is coming from this fake emperor right here. They don't like that. They don't like how you are becoming awakening. They don't like that you are on a spiritual journey and they don't like, depending on who I am speaking to, <laughs> they don't like that you can speak something into existence existence, and they don't like the fact that you know when they on their best bullshit because I'm telling you now, they on some shit like, how did you know that? How do you know I was going to do this? It's almost like reading somebody's thoughts. Somebody has special skills and gifts out here that this fake emperor do not like. Because you be on it. You really be on it. Okay? This could be the one. You, you're already, you already met the romantic partner you seek. That's that new emperor right here. This could be the one. This new emperor that's coming in the real one. This could be the one. Okay, I'm just letting you know, and a lot of you guys, you already know that this could be your your um romantic partner right here that's coming in, the real emperor. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here. I hope this resonates with you guys. If so, give this video a thumbs up. Everybody continue to stay safe, stay blessed. Until next time, bye-bye.